Are you? I'm, I'm filming. I'm filming while I'm in here. Yeah. So we've just taken a thumbnail. It will make sense when you see what I'm standing in. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. So I was in there a, in there a second ago. We thought we would give you a shop tour. So we hit 20,000 subscribers this week, closer to 21 now. Thank you very much for everybody that has subscribed. And it occurred to us, unless you come on our live streams, you can't really see what we've got. So we thought we would run through everything and the upgrades so you can see what we've got, man at work. So this one here, this little Tamiya, this is where Ian's obsession with RCs came in. And this must be about 25, 26 years old. He had this from when he was about 15. Originally started with a Renault Clio shell on it. It's a T802. And as for what it has or hasn't got on it, he can't remember. <laughs> it's older than my daughter's. <laughs> yeah, it's literally older than our daughter. Uh, but what he always wanted when he was a, when he was a kid was one of these, which is the same same platform, but it's a special edition. Um, this one has all carbon fiber chassis, the shock towers. What else did you tell me? Uh, CVD drive shafts uh, came with all bearings, all, all full shocks. They're the tires that came with. But that's where it all started. So on the HPI Savage XL, we've got the Alza Racing Chassis, um, the centre diff and the hinge pin braces. Now we've got a homemade chassis brace on there because we were having trouble with the shocks. We've got double shocks running on the front. We've got a Hobbywing Max 6 and a Castle 1650 X01 motor. Coming up in a future video, Ian's going to put a metal steering rack on there because we have been having trouble with that one. Next, X Max. So by far our favourite is the trusty X Max. We have his and hers. Mine's being butchered down there. So minimal upgrades on this one. We we've got the Max Six in there. We use the Sen hinge pins, um, RPM rear hubs, Traxxas upgraded front hubs, GDS spur gear, and Robinson racing pinion. And we run a twenty. We run twenty fifty gearing on that. We've got Bigfoot custom fans on there. But by far the strongest RC we. Have have this thing takes an absolute beating but we are going to do a top five video very soon of our top five cars and we'll go into more depth and show you exactly what they can do now the body we've got on here is an indestructible russian indestructible one now although though they're not very pretty and they don't take stickers very well absolutely nothing sticks to them you can't get these ones anywhere anymore but we've got a new body on its way from tmt customs we have used their bodies before we haven't got any out um but we've got a new body on the way so hopefully it'll be looking a little bit prettier very soon any mini mini mo max so the mini max this is marilyn we bought her from donations through the live streams which you haven't already joined please join us on a saturday night most saturday nights we do once so as long as we've been out bashing they do tend to get a little bit naughty so minimal upgrades on the mini max we've got an extreme racing battery tray carbon fiber battery tray on there and upgraded C hubs, and that is it. The Mini Max does take an absolute thrashing. Very, very similar to the X Max, just a smaller scale. TRX4, both. 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 So the TRX4s, his and hers, I actually built my one. Uh, if you haven't already seen that video, there'll be a link up here right now. Watch it, it's hilarious. It's pretty much all you're going to see is boobs and me balls in up. Ian's one was originally a Defender, but he wanted the Bronco body. Um, it's got the alloy portals on there, um, wider wheel hexes, brass shock mounts and bottoms, the upgraded drive shaft. The wheels you need a blooming good clean are SSD wheels with the stock tracks as tyres. And Ian runs Castle Mamba X in this one, which does make it stupidly fast, but also you still got the torque for the crawling on there. The Bronco body has got the light kit on there too. So my TRX4 has got the got the Hobbywing Axe 3300 motor in there, the brass front hubs, and it's got a power HD servo in there, which I did review, and that's held up really, really nicely. And then we've got the Armour Crapton. Now, this one has caused us so much trouble, so much rage. It was an absolute dog. 
we got the <laughs> the awesomely sugar good body that Ian did and he's never allowed to do again. Have you got the blooming Rona or what? No, it's the heater. Okay. <laughs> so this one, again, we've got the CRCU braces, we've got the servo mount, we've got the hinge pin braces, we've got scorched RC shock towers, we've got whew, the radical RC bash bar with the amazing skins that was designed specifically for our channel. We've got the alloy hubs. You forgot about that one. Oh, yeah. We've got the alloy hubs on there as well. And we've got odd wheel nuts, as you do. Um, it, it it runs lovely now. It didn't. It was terrible. It was absolutely awful. Every jump, it would break. But we've, I think we've got it about right now. Then we've got the Vortex. Kev gave us this little one. Absolutely awesome 3S armour. Highly recommended for anybody that's starting off in the hobby. All we've got on this one is a CRCU motor mount and RPM arms. Takes an absolute hammer in. The only problem we've had, the only thing we've had, uh, Claire, the only thing we've had trouble with is the shock shafts. I think we've gone through three or four sets of these. Oh, and this is the third chassis, but that was purely poor driving skills. Yeet. Slash. So our 6S slash, this is, we've made this into our speed run car. If you haven't already seen, I'll put a link up here to the video. We got 82 miles an hour out of this. It's about to have a facelift. Um, but what we've got in it so far is we've got the 6S, 6S BLX combo thingy. Yeah, job. Right, you, you do the rest. Uh, we've got a Techno Big 4 cent drive shaft. We've got MIP rear drive shafts. We have Revo springs to stiffen it up, GRP tyres, and I think that is it. And we've actually been sent an aero kit now for this, and we've bought the Bugatti Speed Run body, which I'm going to fit, which will be coming up in a future video. Oh, along with some airbrushing, we've got an, two airbrushes. Oh, my head. We've got a load of uh, bodies that need to be done as well. And a tutu. That you'll be seeing in videos. All of our friends are going to be wearing that and doing a little dance for me. <coughs> you done? No. So top five will be the outcast. So I'm only going to mention briefly, we've got a load of custom RC upgrades on this one. We've also got the Just Bash It chassis. Um, but we will go into depth with this one in a future video. And we have our map here on the wall. Um, loads of people commented on a community post I put up uh, when I asked where everybody was from. So we got a map and we stuck some stickers on there. Then we've got the Herbeo Hyper 8. This we bought for our rally car for the rally track. Um, I airbrushed that. We cut out those stencils and airbrushed that. And then it's not really being used, is it? No. It's kind of a little bit obsolete, this one. We picked it up as a roller for an eBay bargain. Um, I think it cost us about 40 quid. It was originally nitro. Ian sprayed up the shell. Is there anything interesting in there? Not really. Yeah, nothing's particularly interesting in there. Then we've got a couple of crappy banged specials. There's a boat there we bought off. So we never run it as a helicopter. We had a play with that. That was all a little bit of silliness. We've got two TTO2s. The idea of these was it to be a mother-daughter build-off, but we ran out of footage in lockdown. So I started building the Tamiya there, completely balls it up. Ian had to rebuild it, much to his disgust. Did not enjoy doing that at all. Loved my TRX4, but did not enjoy doing that. The little Suzuki there, that's going to our friend Aiden in New Zealand because he is Suzuki Jimny obsessed. He needs to paint it pink. I'm going to paint it pink for him. Yeah, they're going to paint it that pink. <laughs> <laughs> then we've got the dreaded mad van again. Subscribers in live stream all subscribe to this. Because quite frankly, I think they're stupid. And that's all I'm saying about that. We have, this isn't actually ours. This is the, um, this was donated to the RCMHAP Facebook group. That is just there. If you're not already a member, there'll be a link down below. Please check that out for a no-nonsense mental health hobby facebook group awesome place but yeah this was donated now the plan with this is to get everybody we know all the, the good youtubers possibly even send it around the world and make it the most famous tra tamia truck in the world ever ever then we've got the con 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 glider that the gorgeous Alistair gave to us I haven't tried this yet it also came with the dx6e controller 
Um, I think we're going to have to wait for better weather for this and Mr. Talbot's supervision. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Armour Typhon, that's got the Radical RC bash bar. We actually bought this off of the guy that runs Radical RC. In his wisdom, he's not very mechanically minded. He actually put butter in the diffs. It stunk. Haven't had much luck with this one so far. So I don't think you would have seen this on the channel. So the Beast, the King Motors T2000. Uh, that's the shell. Whoops. That's the shell up there. A bit of Iron Maiden. This was actually donated to the channel um, from the lovely Andy P. Now you can't buy these anymore. And we haven't used it an awful lot. As far as we're aware, it is all stock. Apart from the Proline trenches on there. Baja Rear. Yeah. And King Motors front. Now, the King Motors part of it, the parts are absolutely impossible to get hold of. We've run it a few times around the track, but we're kind of scared to use it because of the parts availability. I don't know. Maybe this is one that we need to be passing on to somebody else that will get more enjoyment out of it. Little WL Toys. This thing was blue and awesome. We'll do some more videos on that. I think we'll do some upgrades on that one. Oh, underneath the donut. <laughs> that was our 12,000 subscriber donut. <laughs> It's nice. <laughs> We've got the little tiny drift truck for the winter, guys. These are fantastic. That was the last video that went out. Check that out if you haven't. We had a little race with Kev at his unit. Awesome, awesome fun for the money. We've got a Nitro Savage 25 that Martin gave to us. Again, you've not seen this one on the channel. We will get that up and running, but we need some help. And we've got a body to paint for that. We're going to have a go with some airbrushing skills. A few flames. Yeah. Ghost flames. Ghost flames. And then last but not least, definitely not least, is the infraction that Kev gave us. Gorgeous car. And the felony that we bought from Lee Custom RC Upgrades. These two will be in our top five. So I'm not going to go into detail now what they've got in them. You're going to have to wait for that video. And that, but you're going to have to wait. All the lubes, got to make sure you have the lubes. You don't want your shaft being dry. All the controllers, state of that. All the parts, some rubber ducks, as you do, and a knobber on the sofa. So I think that is it. I do believe that is it. I don't think we've forgotten anything. May have done. Anyway, a little bit different for us. I hope you've enjoyed it. Make sure you leave me a comment down below. If you're new to the channel, hello and welcome. Please have a look around. Anything with boobs in it or if the thumbnail says moist, you're pretty I think you're pretty like you'll I think you'll like what you see. So be nice, behave yourselves, be kind to each other. See you next time.